pod, new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, nigga, new best shoe pod, the new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, it's the new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, it's the new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod, new best shoe pod. No bash your pot, no bash your pot, no bash your pot. And sometimes I talk about clothes, it's the new bash your pot, new bash your pot, new bash your pot, new bash your pot, new bash your pot. Clearly. New best shoe pod. Hey, hi, everybody. If you notice, we got a new person here. Um, welcome to the new best shoe pod. Uh, I'm Jamal. Uh, then we got uh, Brian. Then we got um, another guy named Brian. Hey, hi. How are you? Yo, uh, I'm doing well. It is the first Saturday I've had off in a long time, and uh, I don't know what to do with myself. Makes me nervous. <laughs> How are you doing, Brian? The other Brian? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm hanging in there, chilling. Uh, yeah. All right. <clears throat> what has literally happened in shoes this week, fellas? You guys want to That's start here to chat about? A lot has happened. Jaden Smith dropped some new colorways of the. Dude, I seen that. <laughs> oh my god! When you, when you sent me, I was like, I didn't because I didn't really know what it was. So I'm like looking it up, and I'm like, oh, this fucking shoe. Yeah. Like, come on, yeah. man. I think those shoes are fire. Um, I don't think uh, are, the they, are they the, are the best colors, but they're fire. Are, are they the uh, the what you call it? The New Balance racers still? Yeah. Man, yeah, I hate this. Shoes. Shoes. I'm sorry. Them shits are hard. I, I don't know. Like, I, I wouldn't wear them, but I respect them. Yeah. You exactly. know, especially like I, for I a New Balance shoe. Way. Those are wild for New Balance. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, it, it, it's like a, this is like New Balance saying, like, look, we get it. We are grandpa shoes. This is where we're like stepping up. We're branching off right here. This is this is the new wave. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. Jaden Smith fucking had some creative control in that shoe. And that's what's cool about yeah. it. Sure. Uh, it's like, it looks like a fucking weird shoe. But I'm not saying, like I said, this isn't the best colorway, but it's a fucking good shoe. And uh, mm -hmm. I don't think New Balance is actually missing at all right now. I think they just. Yeah. Oh, yeah hard. i mean it's it's hard for them too because like they never stray too far away from you know what makes them popular you know like their colorways are they're kind of like yeezuses where it's like they'll do a wild color or a combination every now and then but like it's always just a slight tweak slight change or something like that you know don't don't mess with what's good right? yeah exactly uh fucking a bunch of new balances have been released. Now that's Cordy Wade said. Um, what new balances came out? 992s, uh, mm -hmm. 2000, what, 2002 R's. Uh, yeah. They've been, they've been killing it, man. Yeah. All this week, the new colors. Shit, this year, the 550s, like, you know? Mm -hmm. 
you you talked about the 550s forever so you know what i mean like um i mean i don't know have, have are, you, are you guys like familiar well i know you are jamal but brian are you uh, uh familiar with any of those like the the 992s or the are you the 992s one? yeah uh what, what's the uh the most comfortable most popular one uh the, 990s maybe yeah yeah the 990 v3s i think uh I got those are pretty tight uh I've never had new bounces before. I, I tried them on before and everything. Uh, I this was when like I just started getting into sneakers, and uh, I, I couldn't really understand uh, what new bounce was about until uh, a couple years back. New bounce teamed up with uh, Beams Japan. If you all familiar with that label, mm -hmm. yeah, they had a really sick uh, like, like mix match nine nine zero V threes. They were like gray colorways of course that new bounce gray but like they kind of mix match like the panels a little bit like off grays um regular grays can you pull such. them up are you on a computer uh are you on a phone uh I, i'm 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 not too familiar with zoom too well <laughs> let's see <laughs> uh yeah i right, will do it later well yeah. i can look it up real quick i'll look it up right. i want to see actually okay. Yeah, I want to see. Yeah, uh, it, it was a uh, let's see. It was when Nordstrom. I, I think they're still doing this, but like Nordstrom started doing like a a, a monthly pop up thing. You know, trying to like showcase different designers, different artists. Uh, in person, and one of them was uh, Beams Japan, and like those were pretty sick. I, I wish I copped them, but never did. Yeah, it's all just art. Did it did it sell out? Like, is this a re is this like a valuable shoe now or some shit? Mm, I don't think so. Like, I, I don't think a lot of people know who, who Beams is, you know? Yeah, and it is a very, like, a, it's a very low-key collab as well, too. It's just, like, with a lot of, like, Japanese designers or Japanese collabs, it's all about, like, the details, right? Very subtle details, just, like, uh, with, like, Fragment. You know, that's what he's all about, right? Yeah, they did a, Beams did a collab with uh, Architerics. I don't know if you're familiar with the, the jackets. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Weird. That, yeah. But they, did it look pretty tight? Dude, they're all good. Like, there's like three colorways. Like, it's, oh, are you talking about this? Hold on. Let me get this shit. Are you talking about this shoe right here? Yeah, it was that one right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is fun. Yeah, you see, you see, like, you see, like, the toe box is like a Mitch uh, there. It's like, it's really cool, very subtle. Like, you can take a peek on the street and like you you might miss it, right? It might look like a regular new bounce if you took a quick peek, but like uh I don't know, they're cool. Yeah. Subtle. Oh damn it, you got me. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> All right. Hey, that's the a little the grade's a little lighter too, I would say too. I don't know. I think like yeah. it's yeah. I mean there I'm all about versatility, you know, like if it's a shoe that I could wear with everything and it still looks fire. I'm going to get it or I really, really respect it. Uh, yeah, that's why like for me, Air Force Ones, those are my mains right there. <laughs> from All right, look, from look. weddings to funeral. Hey, look at this. Uh, this is actually one of the things I want to talk about. Do you see this here? This is all brought to you by Balenciaga. <laughs> I'm going to just shout that out because. Uh, that's hilarious. Sure. <laughs> look at Bieber. Like, uh, oh, right, it's not right. cool clothing, man. But at the same time, <laughs> uh, that's what he's going to be wearing for the next three years. At least, I think, you know. Yeah. So that's really How awesome. do you feel about Balenciaga, Brian? Uh, I wish I could wear Balenciaga. I also wish I could afford to. It's so freaking expensive. Uh, I like the look and aesthetic, but it's like, yeah, I think it's like, uh, it's kind of like a leaks or Rick Owens where if you're going to wear it, you have to be invested in the whole aesthetic, the whole outfit, you know, you can mix and match stuff here and there, but like, if you want to really pull off the whole Balenciaga look, it's gotta be from head to toe. You know, if you want to really rock the look, uh, I'm, I'm into that, like goth rave matrix look, you know, I wish I could pull off. I wish I could wear it all the time. Uh, it's just too expensive, and I, I I can't commit to just that look singularly, you know. 
Oh, you were saying the same thing about Rick, remember? When, when we were talking? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, uh, I, I used to be into Rick Owens. I used to collect Rick Owens back then. Uh, but that was just, like, me, like, you know, ASAP Rocky was just, like, popping off. And, you know, he was just dropping names. Like, and he was always constantly, like, rocking Rick Owens. I was like, man, that looks cool. I want to get into it. So I blew all the my all my money I did, just like I always do in clothes. So I, I'm always making bad investments all the time. And uh, I got them in everything. And then I was like, over time, uh, years later, I was like, I'm too old for this now. Like, uh, I, I think like someone like, oh, only ASAP can uh, wear something like that, you know, and make it look cool no matter how many years later and everything like that, I'm just not that person uh, beyond that level. And I had to like sold all that shit, regret selling all that shit because I should have just collected in the first place. You know? I feel, I feel that. Yeah. Yo, have you guys peeped uh, your boy Bad Bunny though? I think I think everything he's doing is like great, man. And it's low key like, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, fuck. It's like, oh, let me show y'all. Um, oh, the Cheetos? Did you see the him with the Cheetos? <laughs> that's what I'm saying, yeah. Um, uh, he's got Cheetos uniforms he made. Those are great. But isn't it like, um, what's his name? Uh, oh, I can't even. Um, Jeremy Scott, like-esque. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It, it is a Jeremy Scott kind of, like, it's loud, you know, or it's kind of like a. Like yeah, a, he, he's pretty thing. Jeremy Scott S. Yeah. He's yeah, he's loud, likes color and everything, loves pop culture. You know, the that's that's solely what that is, right? It's a good I marketing. Too. If he's getting help from Jeremy Scott. Low key, and he just signed like a deal with them, so maybe, right? Mm, right, right. So yeah, because um, like Jeremy Scott has all had a long time relationship with Adidas, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. For sure. But wait, you didn't pull up the Cheetos shirt. Oh, I got it right here. I was just waiting to host. My oh, name. my bad. Everybody's name is Brian. <laughs> One of us has got to go. <laughs> you have to fight. It ain't going to be me. <laughs> Welcome to Throw us in the ring. One knife, one bat. See who comes out. You see it. And the audience says, it's fire. I hate this, it. <laughs> you're not feeling it? The, I, I'm someone who loves wearing tiger and cheetah print stuff. And uh, I get it. I would never, never wear it, though. It's just like that. It's just polka dots. They're, they're not, that's not cheetah prints. Just polka dots everywhere. That's so, true. Uh, right. Yeah. But I do like the color, though. Like, if only the pattern was just, like, a little bit more Cheeto-like, I'd be like, yeah, this is pretty tight. Good yeah. colors. You know, Bad Bunny's cool. i give uh, this a solid 9 out of 10. Same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but that's a, that's a track jacket, though. That, I mean, that's a track suit. Yeah, you that's fine. It's, it's very fire. It, like, it makes you a Cheeto. It makes you a Cheeto. makes you faster. Yeah. Um, what else is so, going on? Hey, man, can we talk about what's actually going on in the world? The only thing that I'm looking up. Fire away. Talk your shit. Ooh. The man who stole all the hearts. Yeah. <laughs> Did y'all watch it? The live stream? Uh, no. I didn't even know that was the thing. Yeah, uh, like, I, I, was was like, a, I was a sucker. I watched it. I, I waited two hours for it. <laughs> I will watch it right in the right now after this. Because I want to, I'm sure it's on YouTube. I want to watch it. I think so. Yeah, I least <laughs> like clips of it. Um, 
I thought this his outfit was killer, and I thought at first uh, because I've forgotten about the uh, what are, is it Y Z Y or do I say Yeezy? <laughs> you say whatever yeah. makes you feel good. All right, uh, <laughs> Yeezy feels good. So the Yeezy Gap uh, jacket, uh, I've completely forgot about it, and it wasn't until uh, Brian told me that uh it, it was the gap jacket because uh, i thought it looked like a bottega vega or a bottega jacket just because like uh in the images leading up to dawn to release you know he was rocking uh wait a minute what the fuck is the name of that boot oh god god damn. i think it's like 10 20 or something like that i think uh, is that the fucking name of this fucking boot I you son of a bitches. Yeah, it is 1020. I guess that. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all like this? Like, I, I read last night on uh, this model, and it uh, seems like a lot of people don't like it. I think it looks cool as hell, especially this colorway. Yeah, this is fire. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Everyone seems to be hating on them, but I'm like, I don't know. They, they look they different. Maybe they won't sell out then. <laughs> yeah, all for me. Yeah, they're I'll gonna sell out. They're ne- they're definitely gonna sell out immediately. Yeah. What do you think his like inspiration was though? Because it's like an all red fit with like a it, it obviously doesn't match, right? Like orange boots. Yeah, it's just fire. You're just supposed yeah. to like. It's just okay. you're just supposed to you're just supposed to get the people going. <laughs> okay, yeah. it's, it's your uh, it's it's the Donda fit. Like you. Yeah. You put it on, you just put on only these shoes and you just put on your ear, AirPods, you listen to the album. That will probably never yeah, come out. Yeah, that's what Kanye does for you. He's right. He, yeah. he kind of yeah. gives you that fucking, that fucking, oh my God. We got to go wear these clothes and run in the circle. <laughs> <laughs> like do a Naruto run. That's hilarious. This is fucking good. I like this boot though, man. No laces. I think so too. Yeah, uh, I like the uh, what looks like I don't know, like bone under skin kind of like uh, yeah, exactly. lines right there. You know, like you know, it, like you seem like a, a an animal or a, that's like really thin and like you see like the rib cage coming through uh, under the skin and everything. Like it's that's what uh, and then the bottom is I, like spacey. Yeah, so it's yeah, like, yeah. Uh, it's like the fusion of two things. You know, and then you're like becoming a person, and you got the space futuristic toes. You know, <laughs> it's like space toes. Yeah, this is a great shoe. I wonder yeah, how good. So. Oh, you! I know. I don't even wonder. Every fucking, you know, remember the way like people used to think you like uh, Jordans did. Like they like you got if you play good basketball, you wear Jordans. You know, it's mm-hmm. like these actually make you like feel good. The way you think they would, if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, totally. Just and uh, it, it's a it's an Adidas shoe, so it's yeah. bound to be comfortable. You know, like whether what, it's like picture. boost or uh, what's the what's the other one that they use? A- Anaprene. Yeah, a- like a- a- bounce. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This shit. Oh so, yeah, for sure it's gonna be comfortable. Yeah. You see the cushioning here. Come on, um, man. You fucking you, your ankles can never get crossed up in these boots. <laughs> <laughs> why would your why would your ankles get crossed up in the boots? If you want to play ball in them, I bet you somebody's gonna play basketball in them. Because they're gonna feel that good. Oh yeah. I do it. Yeah, the more I look at these, the more I like them. Yeah, these are heat. Yeah, oh, it's it's the color. Me, I'm a like a I'm an orange dude, you know, and uh the right yeah, kind of orange. Yeah, yeah these good yeah. orange. Yeah. I like orange, reminds me of hunt. Yeah. What about the outfit? Uh, what do y'all think about his uh, outfit during the performance? That's a good question. I'm actually kind of uh, shocked by it when I learned that it was a uh, Yeezy Gap. Like I, I'm if the jacket is, then I'm pretty sure his pants are too, yeah. and uh, that makes me question a lot of things. Like uh, first of all. If this is a Gap collaboration, 
this is weird because this color is totally not gap at all right they're always that blue denim blue natural mm -hmm. muted colors and then like uh yeah jesus his line is always like muted Earth colors tone. and everything right yeah. so like for him to like for him and gap to choose you know bright bold colors that oh, look like bottega bottega stuff uh that's wild. And I, I guess that means like Gap is totally comfortable with like using colors for this line that are totally not in their wheelhouse. It's, it's pretty exciting. No, facts. But the only thing is the rollout though, like the way how he's rolling out the jackets, the way how he's rolling out the clothes so far, it seems like super limited, super hard to get. Like, I mean, I guess yeah. that's Kanye. I guess that's Kanye. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's all over the place, right? With him. Like not nothing you can't expect you can't expect uh anything to be by the date, you know. He yeah. or whatever his team says that it's gonna be out this time. Can't believe it, especially after what happened yesterday. Like I'm sure no one after Donda, whenever that releases, no one's gonna be as hype anymore for it because this is like the second time, right? That people got burned on release date. Oh, this is not the second time people got burned. But I was also, you know, I've seen guys been burning them since goddamn the start. But I've seen, um, I've seen, uh, what was I trying to say? Fuck, I, was, I forgot what I was going to say. But this outfit is inspired clearly by uh, Akira, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's yeah, just totally. like. Especially that specific red. Yeah, he's just like trying to like say like, "Hey, I can be powerful as fuck," you know. Like mm -hmm. he's explaining the album, and I thought that I didn't, I didn't know it was gonna be this good. Like, damn it! Like at first, I was like, when I first started seeing Kanye, like even the last couple weeks and stuff at different places, I was like, "Well, remember I said this last week, uh, Brian?" I was like, "Uh, he is not." I was like, he's not really that guy to, you know, he makes mistakes. Everybody fucks up sometimes, you know, I was like giving him all types of passes. But then I just started getting it and shit. And it's like, he's putting that fucking black thing over his face so that you like can't, so that he can relate. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, like it's crazy. And then he's just wearing his like products and shit. Like, this is what we wear in the future. <laughs> you know, so it's like, hell yeah. So it's like it's not, it's not about is it not like about the 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 celebrity it's about the, the product yeah i think so i think he's like trying to say like everything like i'm kanye west everything i wear everybody wears i'm turning the fuck up and uh mm -hmm. basically yeah you know I, I can do music like people are like can he still do me he's weird you know he's done I don't, we don't know if he can do music uh we don't know still because the music isn't out but his his clothes is saying I'm still like cool enough to start a new trend tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. And that's like, <laughs> it's like, hey man, he's cool enough to start a new trend tomorrow. Yeah, and uh, he can still do music because as long as he's got Mike Dean chained up in the studio and never gonna let him out, yeah, he can still do music. <laughs> Wait, who'd you say? Uh, Mike Dean. Oh yeah, Mike D. Fucking uh, Sci High. Yeah, he just like got them all in there like. You know, just right. it's, just, it's just a room with no windows. He's chained to that studio desk. Uh, he's never getting out. Absolutely. Uh, that's amazing, though. This guy's about to... I think he is going to make some cool songs because he's like, hey, you fucking idiots. I can make cool <laughs> songs. Don't forget. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's pull up the next shit. I should just pull it up, but... Yo, Brian, are you a fan of uh, Crocs by any chance? Uh, I feel like everyone can be a fan of Crocs. The more and more I, I see them, more and more I hear about them. Uh, I do love Comfort. Uh -huh. Never tried them on before, but I'm a big fan of Comfort. And uh, maybe Thank one day, one day I'm going to join the cult. Ooh, These are pretty that, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Wow. Give me. This is a uh, Dover Street, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, that black is pretty tight too. These are smooth. 
These are real smooth. Yeah. I, has okay. has there ever been a dunk that was velour before? Um, wasn't the uh, what you call it the Grateful Dead one velour or like parts of it? Uh, hmm. or was it just like a fuzzy material? Yeah, just fuzzy stuff. Hmm. But you're right. There has been some thought, some soft dunks before. Yeah. Uh, but softer dunks. Th- these are low key, you know, just one colorway, top to bottom. Uh, Blower's a wonderful material. Love that shit. Uh, I would always go white, but the black ones right here, I'd rock them too. Yeah, the texture of the velour definitely like is cool. I like that on a dunk. Do you guys feel that? Do you guys feel that dunks are still like a thing, or do you think it's dying down now? Well, that's the thing. I don't give a fuck about dunks. <laughs> or if they're a thing, but these are nice shoes. You know Those what I'm saying? Nice so it's like, no, I'm not yeah. worried about if they're a dunk or not. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, now I like this shoe and I would mm-hmm. just would move towards shoes I like and not move towards like, if it's this shoe or that shoe. This fucking yeah. hypes this. Speaking of dunks, uh, the, uh, the one dunk that I'm hyped for that uh, I hope I get a raffle for or win a raffle for is the... Uh, the new ambush lime dunks. What colorway is it? It's a uh, lime. Oh, there we go. That one right there. All right, sick. Oh, oh ambush okay. limes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I don't care about dunks too much, but I like ambushes dunks because of uh, what they did with the swoosh, the back of it. It does make it look like it's in motion it makes it look you know unique uh yeah i've always said i really like these pink ones oh i'm i'm gonna cop them one day for sure yeah. that, that's on my list right there that and the the black and white ones maybe the royal blues like these are the only dunks i want is the ambush ones they look so sick and good colors so far you know the yeah, and my bad we just uh did a little thing to make a little thing happen uh but hey i'm happy that uh we've come come to some similar agreements make sure that you continue <laughs> to think like i do <laughs> you'll get along many fine around but look uh speaking of weird shoes that i don't like to talk about there was actually this story that i saw Yeah, you like how I like say it and then start typing. <laughs> yeah, I know. My imagination then just blows up. <laughs> Take this out. Man, fuck this guy. Hate it. Hate it. Boom. 250 on the on the shoe. Who cares? A terrible <laughs> piece of <That's> money. <laughs> this guy just won a championship. Who cares? I don't know. I don't know. Do y'all no, but this is cool. Frog leather stuff. This isn't so bad. What are you saying? That do y'all fuck with like croc leather, snake leather? Is that stuff? what that is? Like crocodile? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I get what you're gonna say, but hey, it's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about this. What what makes this a lot of money? The check, the swoosh? Yeah, just the little fake, the value, the fake value of the diamonds, <laughs> like basically, the fake value. <laughs> like, you know, you just fucking value up diamonds. <laughs> and then you say, hey, these diamonds are worth a lot. And then he showed uh, Johnny Dan. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> He'll hook him up. She said, <laughs> it, it, Johnny Dan. But these Houston's uh, ice cream. These look pretty nice, though. Like, if I ever were to wear. And uh, I, I, I'm not this kind of guy, but if I ever had a friend who wore those and were out somewhere, I'd be real tempted to rip that swoosh off. Just this <laughs> off. And then sell it on eBay. I mean. I'm not going to lie, Jamal. I, I'm really surprised you actually like these. I just like the craftsmanship. If they if they like work well, 
well, what is this? Is that a shoelace? Yeah, I think that's a shoelace. Yeah, but it's like what braided, right? It's like a braided shoelace. Oh. Oh no, no, it's also leather. It's also that uh, croc leather. Oh. So it's probably right. like a, a flat lace. Yeah, it's like a, a leather flat lace. Yeah, like it. No, I can't even say anything. It's gonna not get me in trouble. But <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> nice. What's up, man? So now what? Now, what's the difference between these guys doing this custom for uh, for a PJ and then the people that are getting sued by Nike with the customs? Because isn't this all the same shit? Yeah. Uh, uh, it just it, it depends on what celebrity you are, right? <laughs> Fucking popularity contest and shit. It is. Like, uh, they'll always give a pass to, like, you yeah. know, celebrities are big names especially like if they help blow up their shoe but like any of the little people mm. that's whack man let, let them live man shit <laughs> i agree I, I mean that's marketing right there like why, why you want to fuck with that that's like that your community is your marketing you know Low so key. high key high key yeah peak key <laughs> you know so, I thought it was that one, the the drip yeah. creation. Yeah, it was that one. I just want to find my favorite uh, one that one. Shit, Warren Lotus, yo, I loved what he did with the dunk at first, man. But they they fucking killed that dude, man. Mm. That's the thing. You... What happened? Pretty cool. Cool at all. Like why? Why would you, <laughs> why would you come for a guy who's doing this right here? Come on. But not, they're not coming after a, a shoe a shoe surgeon, right? No, they're coming after. Uh -huh. Yeah, because he's yeah again celebrity, right? They're coming after the guy, man. Uh, <laughs> you got to be this tall, this popular. Not to get sued. That's what it is. It's a, it's a right height thing, right? That's whack. It's yeah. That's and then it's crazy. like, how, how do you how do you get to that plate? Uh, how do you get there in the first place, right? You've got to be that. You got to start with that little guy. Well, that's what I kind of wanted to comment on is that that fucking Astro World shit looked like shit. So you can't be like doing bad stuff. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be like doing whack shit. I, I don't know why they, and I'm not saying everything that brand did, does is whack, you know, drip right. creations, you know, they're getting a lot of publicity. So, you know, mm -hmm. hopefully it's for the best, but that didn't look good. That wasn't a good uh, example, you know, for them yeah. to put out there for whoever to put out there. So maybe Nike, because Nike has like billions of dollars. Maybe Nike is like, telling the people in the media like hey use this picture <laughs> this ugly ass astro world bullshit because that happens all the time you know it really does happen all the time where like big companies can like skew the media and shit so i don't know maybe we should the only way to fucking know is for me to look up drip creations yo low-key do that yo. let me see I want to see what they got, what they're working with. Let's see. Oh, man. <laughs> Is it like that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is, I think this is Jerk Creations. Oh, okay, okay. This is, I think this is a little different. This is not like some, you know, artists trying to do their thing or anything like that. No, this is like, a, this is like a, a Chinese company trying to cop shit, right? Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, no, no, no. This, this to me makes sense why they would go after them. Look at this. Perfect. See, we've come, we've gotten to the bottom of the mystery. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Uh, I, I was not familiar with drip creation. You put Burberry. <laughs> I thought maybe. 
<laughs> yeah, you got to see them, bro. <laughs> Dude, they got the boofy fucking Burberry. I mean, I love bootleg culture, but this is uh-huh. not. This is not it, bro. This is not it. One. Although, I, I wonder how they're printing on on these shoes, though, because like especially when you look in the the, the back heel, right? It's like it's a curved surface, right? Look at this. You can get this for ninety nine dollars. Everything's on sale. Yo, not for nothing. I, you're right. I think this is some. Have you guys ever seen that? Like, where you like, it's like w- water and like it's like a design, but it's like water based or whatever. And then you put the shoe. So you got to put it on yourself. I, I seen something online. It was something like that. But no, is know. that what you're saying? You think that this is though that you got to put it on yourself? Because I'm because he asked the question where like how how did they put it like on like the shoe so crispy like that? And yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, oh, so they're using it though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh. I, I don't know how they would do that, man. That's a good question, bro. Um, right. Like, I, I don't know too much about like leather printing. Um, uh, maybe it's just like a, maybe it's like it's like a flash, uh, vinyl sticker or something like that. But it looks like it's like okay, it's very. And they're thin. using. It looks like it's been printed on. They're using real Air Force Ones. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. No, I can't stop. I'm gonna get the shit. Oh, you shitting me? Yeah, they, they, yeah, oh, they're, so they're, using, they're fake. No, nah, they're using real ones. They got to because oh, okay. they're already eighty nine. I mean, they're already like ninety dollars. Yeah, right. You no, know, for just an Air Force One. And they're like, throw our ten dollars on it. We'll slap this sticker on it. Let's go. <laughs> That'd be wild. That's nuts, man. So yeah, Drip. I thought Nike was the bad guys at first. I think mm-hmm. they're framing it to think to make it look like Nike's the bad guys, but really, Drip Creations are bad, 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 <laughs> all bad. Don't do oh, that. No. That's just no, like, no. these niggas just reselling Air Force Ones. White, like sue that man. Mm-hmm. Sue that man. That's funny. It's offensive. 160. You shouldn't me. You know what I pay 160 for? What? what? One of these, my boy. And that bitch say it sold the fuck out everywhere. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, that's the OG logo. Oh, shit. Yeah, these are cool. Good drop this week. It's not bad. It's not bad. Get their 10% off, too. Yeah. Yeah. So what is this, a dad hat? It's just a nice hat. Right. And I think it's one that Pharrell's worn in music videos, so it's a good for that. Wait, wait, can you click on it real quick? I want to see if it has a strap or not, or if it's a fitted, a flex hat. Oh, you're right. It is a fitted because it says fitted. That's kind of cool. That's not as cool, bro. I mean, but I don't think that the the one that he wore was because no. back in the day, Nigo would wear like the I, I I don't know what kind of hat these are, but I think it's I used to wear New Evers back in the day and whatever, and it, well, I still do, but uh, it's like it's called like flex or whatever hats. Mm-hmm. Like they, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, you're right, though. How did I not know this was a fitted and it's called fitted? I don't like it as much, but I understand it. Because back then, I don't think they could make anything but fitted. I mean, not they couldn't, but it was like what? the bigger... Snapbacks was, was always the thing. Yeah, yeah, but I think it was... I, I didn't mean to say it like that. What I meant was like it wasn't culturally acceptable to wear snapbacks at that time. It was like people were wearing fitted, so they like got a fitted that looked like a dad hat. They like killed yeah. it, but I still, I still think this is cool though. This is not. Yeah, bad. this is this is a really cool hat. I I like the materials on this. Is this like a, is this like a denim kind or like a yeah this some is sort of denim. linen? Because like uh you could look at the texture better on uh this navy one. Looks tight. I like it. Yeah, you're right. In Japan, it's probably got to be quality, right? Yeah. You're right. I want to yeah, show bro. you guys and I've been fucking with it. I haven't bought anything from it yet, but like uh I want to start um 
Hold on. And they do something similar. I see he's already licking his lips. He's hyped for it. No, my fucking downstairs neighbors are playing fucking like techno music. I can feel it through the through my feet. That's cool. Yeah, man. Like, you know, and this is like uh they have adjustable uh but it's fitted though, you know what I mean? And um they have adjustables and they have fitted. So, mm. you know, like hat like wool hats and shit like that, like I yeah, oh, a, these are I the guys that make uh official uh baseball stuff, right? I think it's like to? minor league and shit like that, and like mm-hmm. colleges and all that. I think I have a Brooklyn hat, but I don't know where it is. I think I have one of these. Yeah, that's that was a Brown Brown University hat. That was like that's like the uh, colleges back home. Yeah, oh, yeah. but yeah, that's, that's what that wrote. That was cool. Very nice. Very nice, man. Hey, what is this? Yeah, you like how I, I, you see how I do it? <laughs> <Art. Yeah. laughs> yeah, this dude Jamal is hilarious, yo. <laughs> what is this? Have you ever heard of this shoe? I feel like we talked about this shoe a couple of times, at least the high top ones. Really? Mm. Yeah, Brian, how do you feel about ACG? Are you an ACG guy at all? Man, that's that tech war tech wear uh category, that lifestyle. Oh, what's what's a what's the new word for it? Uh goth core, goop core. I think, I think so, yeah. Jamal put me onto that that word and shit. So I don't. I, don't, I mean, I don't really know. I know. I, I just want you guys to get it wrong for a lot longer before I say anything. Because this, this is not considered gorp core. Yeah. You want, you want to pause? You had to walk away. That's all good. All right. All right. I'm sorry. Sorry about <laughs> my dog there. Uh, but. Uh, Man, uh, I, I think those shoes are probably super comfortable. Uh, if I was out hiking, sure, I'd pick them up there. You know, ACG is always a pretty good price point. Um, they don't look too bad either, but uh, that's just for that hiking shit. I'm, you know, I'm not going to wear that stuff in the street or a wedding or the club. And a wedding. <laughs> You're like, I'm not getting married in this shit. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> that's that's for my uncles. Nah, but I just thought that shoe was ugly, and I don't see a lot of uh, ugly ACGs, in my opinion. So I just think I wanted to kind of get Brian to say he liked it. Brian, do you like them? I'm not a fan of the low tops. The high tops, maybe. Yeah. Hey, no pressure here, man. Nah, yeah, I like the, I like the high tops. Say what you feel. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't like the low tops, man, like them. They're a little too. I think because we, we talked about it before on the pod, like we were saying, like you know, like the newer the newer ACG stuff. It seems like a bit forced. Seems like they're they're kind of getting away from like what their you know what their base was and shit like that. You know, like a lot of the OG nineties ACG stuff. So I don't know. I'm just or the two thousands or something like that. Like so, I'm good. Like I'm you know I like the old school shit for the most part. Yeah. Are you are you into checkwear stuff, hiking stuff, goop core? I am. I am into gorp core. Gorp core. Yeah, there we go. Goop, goop core. <laughs> that would be like some nastier stuff, bro. But into it. I think what's important is not the gorp for right this second. It's more so this. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Uh, when I was reviewing the list last night and I came across the shoe, these shoes right here, uh, I felt sick in my stomach. You don't want to put your uh, USB in there? I mean, maybe. Get some information. If I was feeling it, but uh, no, not at all, man. I, I don't even want to imagine how much these are going to be. 
it's too much, way too much. I don't know. I, <clears throat> hmm. Rick I Owen's actually... shoes are kind of cool, but like, uh, I think most of his collabs have been not good. At you know, first, I was his, gonna his, say his design everything. style just does not translate. You didn't like the Doc Martens? No, literally. Like, for, especially for the price point, like, it's just like different lacing <laughs> structure. That's all it is. It's just like they took the same boot. The materials, I think, are probably the same. They just did a, a different lacing system on there and charged like what, 300, 400 bucks for it? Fuck that shit. Get out of here with it. Well, at first, I was literally thinking the same thing. I'm like, yeah, fuck this. And I'm kind of trying to, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to not like this really quick because I want to make sure that my feelings are fucking, I can hold strong to them. But I know for a fact, if I got my hands on one of these, I would cut that, uh, that tag off the tongue, you know, like, mm -hmm. wow, that's too much, too wordy. Like get that yeah. out of here. But this might not be a bad shoe. It might it just, you know, my own, if the thing stays up, like if do you think this thing stays up? Does it get droopy? Or does it stay nah, up? Yeah, it's it's that converse material, right? That canvas material. So it's gonna be pretty it's it's gonna stay up, I'm sure. Yeah, I think it's got a little bit of extra, probably got some type of oomph in it, you know. So mm -hmm. I for, I don't like this one for sure. This is garbage. A low touch, yeah. the no yeah. go. But this is a, <laughs> this one might be fire. I might can see how this one's fire. I take, like I said, I'll take this part off, the little the taggy part. This might be a fire okay. shoe. It might, no, no, no. This shit's trash. This is trash. Yeah, I changed my mind. No, I hate it. No. <laughs> yeah, it's all bad. This is a bad shoe. It's got too yeah. much toe, not enough heat, you know, not, no, nah, yeah, too much toe. It's like a duck. No. The shape, uh, the shape is like, is off of me. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, it's, it, it's just like, know. For, for something this busy, I think it doesn't work with like a, a narrow silhouette, you know? That's why yeah, like yeah. Owen Geo Basket sneakers, they look cool because they're a little chunkier, a little wider. And mm -hmm. for like a, all everything that's going on in it. And for this shoe, it just it looks weird. I don't know. Uh they should have taken they should have reduced the they should have switched up the lacing, basically. Maybe yeah, that's all they needed something. to do. You charge four hundred. <laughs> yeah. That's very it's maybe true. add a, a zipper in the back. No, I don't add a zipper. Ugh. But that is something Rick would do though. He would yeah, add exactly, it. exactly. I mean, no, that's just something he has done. You know, that's what's not fair about art. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. That's terrible. How much? If you get them, let me know. What are the what's the retail on that? I don't care. Oh, yeah. You don't care because you're set on them. Yeah. Hold on. I'll look it up. Though. He's like, I don't like that fucking show. And it off the side camera. Yeah. They're gonna be too much. That's all I know. I no, no Converse shoe. No matter what the collaboration is, never worth over one hundred twenty. So all his shoes is like like a stack and change, all of them. All of them, yeah. All of his mainline stuff, especially once you get into like boots and military boots, you know, you're you're looking into like 2K right there. 2K. Oh yeah. yeah. That's Rick Owens. Yeah. Like I said, you, if you're about that life, he's got better, some hits, bro. You better be committed financially and style wise. <laughs> Man, he's putting that pressure on you. Yeah, but the you know the I had Rico and boots before, and like the the quality is there though. Like the leather he uses, they're really nice. Uh, oh, these uh, ain't that bad. What? I'll buy these right now. Yeah, you don't buy these right now. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Especially for three hundred. Hell no. No thanks. Not worth it. No yeah. thanks. That's crazy. That makes me not want them more. <laughs> uh. So hey guys, I'm glad that you both think that 
my my uh, shoes. Hold oh. on, man. Hold on, I'm typing. The audience is gonna be like, hey, is Jamal an acid? It's like, no, man, I was just typing. But look, point is, I don't know how else to say this, but to fucking just share the screen, I'm trying to figure out a new cooler way to, to uh, lead into my uh, thing besides just giving you a fucking crop. I mean, besides just giving you a fucking, damn it. Did I really just do that? That's your pet peeve right there, bro. My pet Yo, I'm peeve. I'm not gonna lie. Having to edit Yo, this Jamal. motherfucker. Go ahead. <laughs> Yo, Jamal. What's up? Yo, all right. Man, fuck it, man. Fuck the dilly dally and then the whatnot. Crocs Inc. on Thursday reported a second quarter revenue of six hundred and forty point eight million. A 93.3% increase or an 88.4% increase on a constant current basis in comparison to 2020. The point is, that's a 93% uptick. Crocs are the best, long story short. Not, not the short part. They've been killing it. Been killing it. Yeah, Th who's Nike anymore when you got Crocs, right? <laughs> that part. <laughs> that part. How many Crocs do you own? <laughs> i'm not gonna uh, lie every time i go sure. to the uh the outlet i always see like crazy lines over there always really oh yeah are you crocs? kidding if i go anywhere i'm going to the croc store first to buy three pairs like because they're like so great but they're also so cheap that you can like have so many and just like it's like oh this is crazy and they're yeah and they're available it's like, like let's go. It's like you can re up on them, like any time. Re up on that I, good feeling. I, I like the customization too, but I know you're not a fan of that. But I think it's cool that you can customize them. You know. Yeah, I know? customize them. You know, you can change out the uh, colors of the. Sh I mean, I change out the colors of the straps and shit. Do you get the? Uh, what are those little accessories you put in the holes? What are they called? No, nah, I don't get those. You don't get those. For them, <laughs> I think you should make your. I think New, New Bay's podcast should make their own little. Uh, what are they called? Little stud thingies. I don't know, little fucking bull fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, no, but the point is, Crocs are getting bigger, and they're and the fucked up part is that they're a really good product, so it's not going anywhere. It's like anybody who's on the fence, like Brian here, they're like. Oh man, I don't know if I would. Do that. It's like they're the type of thing like uh, you just fall into it and then you're like, oh fuck, it's too good, you know? Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like that's how it works. <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> it's like it's contagious, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like it's not like it's it's like so it's like you could be like, oh, this is ugly or something like that. But then like when you wear it, you be like, oh, but it feels so good, you know you'll understand uh -huh. it immediately and then you'll be like fuck where can i go from here i can't get out of this like mm -hmm. i can't you'll start wearing them around the house and you'll be like man fuck it man i gotta go to the store man you can wear these to the store man fuck that and you'll just have <laughs> 25 pairs next day yeah, you know let me host up real quick i want to show you the the next level of, of crocs so i got you right now um i think i might that's how i'm gonna have to spend my saturday getting to crocs for the first time no, Please. I mean that's sell me on it. I do love I mean, comfort. I'm I don't have to. That's the thing. They that's they sell themselves. Yeah. Like nobody's ever convinced you like for a long, you know, like to give you a blow job and like, hey man, it's good. I'm telling you, you no, know, you like you just go, well, it kind of does look like it feels good. <laughs> Maybe I should mm -hmm. try that. <laughs> the same way a grok feels. It's like uh, I'm pretty sure that it's good. He's right here, man. This is the next level, yo. No, nah, see, yeah. this is not, this is, I don't get the same feeling of, oh, that looks like it feels good. That's like, that looks like when you, people like put rubber bands around their balls and stuff. 
It's like, I don't, know <laughs> if I don't know if this is as pleasurable. Of, uh, it's just slightly more, it's slightly less comfortable is what you're saying. Yeah, like, look at that shoe on the right. Like, what the fuck? Who would put that? Like, how can you put that on at the beach? Like, you can put Crocs on at the beach. Like, how can you put that shit on? Like, it's all going it to be all dusty and shit. Like, oh, you know, come right? on, yeah. man. This guy, I, I don't shit know who to say, is. bro. This None of these are the same because, like, like I said, you can't take them from the beach to the mountain. Says, but you can, yeah. but you can with these though. Yeah, you see how you, you can take them from the beach to the mountain. Like that's the only that's the facts to it. Yeah. These are the gun range with them. Yeah, you can yeah. Do exactly. That's cool. These are cool. Shout out to Ask Pizza too. Man, okay. I know Balenciaga is really good at marketing. That's what they need to do. They need a collab with Crocs. I, I get that. that I get that. That would look that. so tight. No, I would hate that. Would that. Look so, tight. so sad. Yeah, it'd be so sad if they did that. I guess they <laughs> could do that, but fuck, that would suck. I wonder uh, what yeah. that would look like. Only brands I think should make collabs with Crocs. Uh, Chanel should make a collab with Crocs, where they make like a special collab, and then the okay. strap says Chanel, and like maybe like make it like a different. I don't know some some type of thing for girls or something but i want to see some chanel collab uh collabs and, so it would uh, be a woman's exclusive only no nah, i mean whatever they can do i'll take them i want some but uh and what else i don't know there's a lot of people actually that that's just the one i've been thinking about lately <laughs> so i've been like because like that's the it's thing it's like it's like that man crocs are like a part of the world it's not even a game. It's like, oh shit, this is actually a part of the world. You know, I like I, I know what you mean. It's kind of like a, it, it's almost like a verb now, right? Uh, uh, yeah. Just a, a general verb or noun, like Google, right? You Google some or now with Crocs, it's just catch Crocs out. Thanks. Uh, I like I like when they do the the all terrain on the the bottom of them. Like I think I think that's cool when they do that. Mm -hmm. All terrain, nah, dude. They're already all terrain, bro. No, like like the <laughs> that's soul. just for your appearance. <laughs> the, the price point is all terrain. That's just for your appearance. <laughs> like literally, dude. I've had I have boots that I've been walking in the desert and like a nail's gone through the boot and shit. Mm -hmm. But I don't fucking and they're like Merrill boots or some shit, you know, like not like bad boots at all. But my Crocs, same shit they won't go penetrate you know what i'm saying it won't penetrate crocs like it will fucking your mountain boots i don't know i mean not mountain boots but boots boots yeah so are so. you saying crocs are going to be featured in the next uh, mad max movie that's our that's the true post apocalyptic shoe right there i mean <laughs> that's what i'm saying it's like literally you can climb some slippery thing and not fall and then you can get cut in the damn, you can get cut. You know what I'm saying? Or you can get nails and shit can be on the ground. And then you can walk over that and glass and shit. And then you get a wet, slippery part. You can also get up that. It's like, wow, that's crazy. Damn, damn that sounds like, that sounds like a, uh, a genius marketing. Imagine this right guy. There. Imagine yeah. this. And then, and then you do that. <laughs> <laughs> you're not understanding it becomes like a real all-terrain tank that you could like literally climb a, a mountain a wall this one has like the distinctive like not the regular treading like extra treading you know what i'm saying this motherfucker you could like literally run from the fucking police shoot at the uh, like everything and you're just gonna leave and that's the thing is like it's such a generic print it's like you can't be it's not like you know uh never mind we're not gonna get into crimes but you know that's the point <laughs> oh okay okay print. let me ask you then let, let me ask you then uh which one has more black air force one energy a black air force one or a black croc well i mean today <laughs> question, that's a different question it's a different question for today but all right that's hilarious Yo, speaking of Air Force One though, let me uh let me post up something real quick. Uh you already are, bro. Good fuck. Oh, oh, I'm already on it? 
Yeah, man. You got me like. You can see, wait, wait. You can see. You can see my screen already. No, but you're the host, my nigga. Oh, all right, I got you. <laughs> He's like, you can already see my screen. <laughs> I was like, no, dude. can't see your screen, man. <laughs> Yo, yeah. why the fuck would Drake do this? Nah, this far. What? Are no, they're not. Why are you mad at? Thank you. No, nah, y'all are hating, bro. This is yeah. every anybody who gets an Air Force collab. This is what you're supposed to do, and he did it. And then he did a little extra, and he did it in a cool way. That's cool. Well, wait, what's cool about it? What's extra about it? Didn't is there a, a, a um a owl on the other side? Uh, I think there's an owl on the other side. Uh, the point is, if that's an owl on the other side, then he did right. If no, not, he put, he put hearts on the fucking uh the, you know where the stars would be at on the on the yeah, uh, he killed bottom of the circle. He killed yeah, it. Like he did no, he did not. That's a kill. That's a kill, dude. Y'all are crazy. No. That's a kill. That's amazing. That's not a My boy just did amazing. Like he made it customized. He made it so he can have ten thousand pairs sent to his house and wear those forever. And those be the his special Air Force Ones that look like his. You can wear them with every outfit. They're amazing. Those are fire. <laughs> You're crazy. Like I would Bro. literally, if I was Drake, I'd say, "Send me ten thousand pairs of these, please." Like ten thousand, literally, so I can just have like a garage full of them and just go get them all the time. So, because I need to have these for the rest of my life. Like, if, if I'm gonna say no. anything good about them, I would say the upper leather look, look like quality, at least for his pair or whoever's, uh, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If they make this really nicely and properly, it's a fucking all white that's done properly. Like his Jordans were stupid because they didn't have like good enough like. Okay, they were bad because they did the 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 like Drake branding was kind of like not generical, but kind of like we've seen this before, you know, but this time they took the Drake branding, did some crazy stuff we've never seen or done on Air Force One, which is change the actual, you know, like little rubber part right there. And then mm. that's just his shit and just made it his own and just made it crazy. Like, it's all about like saying my shit that I made that's special is like cooler than yours and I can wear it every day for the rest of my life and i made nike made it so you know drake's thinking about it from like fuck everybody who's talked who could hate on this type idea and yeah. i when i see that uh like executed properly and that's kind of what drake just does in his life he does like little soft things you know he's done all his, i mean all his art i meant to say not his life i don't know the niggas in the life but all of his art he's like done subtle soft ass shit but like in a way to be like, but it sounds really good. And I got all the, you know, you know, like, and I won at the, you know, like, but I was going like, that's exactly what this air force looks like. And none of his other shoes have done that so well. So this is a great air force. Everything's in the details. So I, I feel you on that. Yeah. 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 He did that. That'll, that'll his, like his other shoes were just white and they like said something somewhere like, like, uh, like one of them had like I think an owl in the soul or some shit. It's like that's not that big a deal, you know. Like, but this type of shit is like, oh, those are them certified level boys, <laughs> you know. Like that's funny as fuck, bro. You know, if the uh, if that rubber bottom uh, the bottom sole, uh, that rubber part where he uh, has customized, uh, is that this album right there? It's true. All right, what was the question? I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's all right. Uh, it wasn't a question, but it's like, um, is uh, the thing at the uh, the outer sole, uh, the rubber part, where they changed it out to uh, the AF1, is it the name of his upcoming album on there? Yeah, we should check that, because I, I never really tried to read it. I think that's what it is. Yeah, of uh, some song. I mean, I appreciate subtle hits like that. I, I don't know. I think those words, even if it's the name of the album, just seems kind of corny on a F, uh, Air Force One. That's the only reason okay. why I'm, I'm, I'm never, not feeling it. 
corny is like means it's been done too many times, but this has never been done before. Mm. Uh, Air Force One. It says "Love You Forever." That's beautiful. See, yeah. if you if you told me that's what if that if you told me that's a drip creation shoe, I believe it. No, that's fire. <laughs> It says love you forever. You got the crazy dude. The thing the thing that, that like strikes me the most is like the, the star like the stars being replaced with the, the hearts. I think that's that's, cu- that's cool. I, I like that right there. Yeah, I feel like I've never seen that ever. Right. But that's about it. <laughs> I, 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 and you know, I bet that wasn't easy to negotiate or pull off either, right? Because that means like that piece of the shoe that has been mass produced forever that you know to have the factory change that up just for this release you know and they're never going to use it again that's that's something right there that's cool uh i just wish it didn't say the album's name on the side that's all no if if that was different i like i don't feel that way wait that's not the album that's not what it's called no the album's called certified Uh, lover boy oh okay okay all right so you guys are crazy this is I mean, like an amazing piece of artwork. No, I'm sticking to like it's my, so my guns right now, though. Like, I, I don't like all white shoes. I don't care if it's Drake, Kanye. I don't like all white shoes. You know what I mean? I just don't like all white shoes. That okay. sounds like racism. It sounds but. like you've never been to a wedding. I've <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> been to one wedding, and I wasn't. Yeah. I was, uh, I was just a yeah. guess. I hear that though, but these are amazing. So amazing. So amazing. How 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 much do you think they're gonna resell for? A million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, you think this is gonna be like for the public, or you think this is just for him and like exactly? I don't think it'll be for the public. It's just gonna be like, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's it's gonna resurface as like someone, someone in his like friends group, friends family group is gonna resell, it, right? Did you guys see those the Stars Pizza uh, uh, Air Force ones? How much they man they that for auction? Hundred twenty thousand, like, stupid. I was but like that but that, that sold here. in Hong Kong though, right? That sold in China, right? Oh, okay, okay. Which it's which I, I believe that because it's like that China money, you know. People out there are always, uh, they got money and they just want to flex as hard as possible, right? Like anything that's like unique, one off or anything like that, those kids will get it, you know? Yeah, they got the money for it, for sure. Yeah, their, their dad's got the money for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, did you see that, Jamal, the, the Scars Pizza Air Force One? Uh, absolutely. I think I, I, that's what I like about, I like that. I like it when, like, there's only one shoe or, like, a couple, you know? Yeah, yeah I think it was just, like, friends and family. And then I think Nike did something. I was listening to the uh, uh, Complex uh, Shoe Pod or whatever, and uh, they were uh, they were talking to Clark Kent, and um, he was kind of breaking it down a little bit. So I guess Nike did, like, they might do a release of them, but, like, the, the initial first release was, like, only friends and family only at the pizza spot, like, you know, so... Mm-hmm. I gotta try that pizza spot next time in. Um, I don't know if it's in Brooklyn, but next time I'm. I'm yeah, ready. same, same. I, I've always heard good things about Scar's Pizza. Yeah, I like yeah, the shoe pizza right now. You said what? I said I want some pizza right now. Actually, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, that's rare over here, though. I don't know. I don't know. What well, good? Good pizza? Yeah, there's a lot of good pizza here, bro. That's a pretty pretty. You don't think state. so? Wait, 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 wait. Well, okay, what's decent around here to you then? <laughs> like, literally, Joe's Pizza makes good pizza, man. Yeah. They really do. And they're a chain. Like, there's like, there's places that aren't chains too that kill it. But then there's just like, it's not like there's not good pizza here. There's good pizza. Anybody who says, anybody who's, I'm sorry, anybody who says Joe's Pizza is not good is like, just saying that to be cool like joe's pizza is easily 20 times better than white castle (laughs) yeah that white castle pizza (laughs) garbage right no just white cat just anything from white castle (laughs) 
Yo, if you can't make a good cheese, right? We're not even talking about no, like nothing else, like no pepperoni. Not you can't make a good ass cheese. Then I'm sorry, you're not you're not a good pizza spot. Like, come on. Okay. And you saying all these places here don't make good cheese pizza or good cheese for their pizza? Yeah, you're yeah. crazy. Literally, Dude. there's two places: Garage Pizza make good pizza. LA does good donuts and good tacos. Nah, I'm gonna stick Krispy Kreme makes good donuts and they're everywhere. The best donuts come from Krispy Kremes. Get the fuck out of it. Oh my God. Like, literally. Yo, yo, this kid's pissing me off right now. Krispy Kreme <laughs> is a large chain of donuts and they literally make the best donuts. Ask, don't ask anybody. I mean, there's like one donut at California Donut that's probably is a little better than ones, but for different reasons. The point is, oh, overall, Randy's? if I had I don't to. Think eat- Randy's is good. No, Randy's is trash. If I had to eat one piece of donut, it would be the blueberry donut from California Donuts. Besides that, it's fine. Like everything else in LA and anywhere is not as good as the Krispy Kreme donut. Like even if I go to like Tokyo or someplace and they're like, hey, we got this weird donut or something. Like that's probably a different tasting donut. You know, it's probably intricate and delicious in its own way. But Krispy Kreme just makes the best donuts in the world. And I can I can literally defend that because if we sit there and eat them back to back, I can eat more Krispy Kremes than you can eat whatever type of donut you eat, which just means that they're more like I, I like them more. I'll give you this. I'll give you this. Every time that I see a Krispy Kreme, the line is fucking doing backflips. So I, I, I feel you. But just for me personally, Donut Hut in Burbank is my shit. I fuck with Donut Hut. Their blueberry donut is crack. Like, it's, it, dude, it's just, come it's, on. I'm writing that down. I'm going to check never, Yeah, I've never seen donut that. Hut, I'll you ask you that again later. Donut Hut. All right. Burbank. Yo, when are you when are you working again, yo? I'm, I think I'm going to just bring some. Like, it's right by my crib, so. Oh, yeah? Okay, Uh, tomorrow. All right, for sure. sure. I work, uh, do I work tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Sunday? I work tomorrow on Monday. Oh, okay, okay. I work Monday, too. All right, for okay. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, we'll so see what I've been reading more about the offset uh television show called The Hype. You seen that shit? Um wait, the first, offset is doing a, a, a TV show? Yes, because he's hype. Yeah. So he will be uh testing hype beast. I mean, no, no, that's the thing. I thought that's I thought he was just gonna be testing hype beast. Or making hype beasts jump over stuff or something corny as fuck or like ride across town really fast or some shit. No, no, no. From what I just read, he's actually going to be, there's actually going to be streetwear people who make clothes and shit tested on if they know about making clothes and shit, basically. Like if they can do it in this way, like, hey, you got to make this out of this material. You know, you got to, this round is the best hats or some shit. You know, I'm like, oh shit. That seems cool. I thought it was going to be like, yeah, I thought it was going to be like, hey, go chase after this shoe and then maybe we'll give mm-hmm. you one, you know? And I'd be like, man, that is a stupid ass show. <laughs> They're chasing after a shoe, but they, it's not that it's fucking make your brand and shit. And I'm like, oh, 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 honey. Oh, mm. question now is is uh is so it's cut and sew because they're doing cut and sew. I'm assuming is that considered streetwear? I thought cut and sew was like like a like a le- another higher level than no oh, cut and no. sew is also cut and sew is making anything yeah that's like yeah. just making shit that just means making yeah it. it's just like your um, fitted shirt or hoodie or something like that you know cut and sew doesn't have to be like tailored suits and dresses and anything yeah, or anything not like at all. that. Yeah. yeah, I thought luxury for some reason. It oh, it's luck. I mean, the thing is, luxury is uh, what you put your time into. Like, yeah. uh, you know, it could be anything. Well, I mean, like, Hunso is like, usually that is like, you go either you do it yourself or you go to some place where you get to like select the fabrics, you get to customize, you know, the fit and everything like that. So I guess it is more luxurious than like the standard, uh, you know, factory produced shirt or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this show, um, this is the one with uh for HBO, right? Yeah. Because I know HBO's released. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I and that's saw another thing that. is that HBO can't miss. 
So this might be a good thing. I, I yeah, mean, I'm they, kind of very, I went from very skeptical about this show to very open-minded. At first I was like, what is this? What is this, like, like one of those stupid shows where you go, hey, if you know who uh, John Geiger is, then we'll give you a pair of <laughs> Jordan 1s, you know? It's like, oh, <laughs> yay. You know, I thought it was going to be one of those stupid-ass, like, quiz shows or something. But no, no, this is, if it's a fucking, hey, make your brain, like, this is like fucking America's Next Top Model or some shit, you know, like that. But, like, you know, the winner gets, like, a bunch of hype you know <laughs> literally a bunch of hype it's like uh right, right. if it's a good thing i will check it out i mean no not if it's a good thing like i want to check and see them all and see which ones are good even if they get kicked out the first round you know i'm like mm-hmm. oh shit i want to see now what these fucking designers are doing you know like in the world no yeah. yeah. you know whether or not the show uh hits or misses uh i think it's just cool that they're a show like it you know like i i think that with all the reality shows out there about making stuff cooking or whatever like there's still not a lot for fashion or fashion designers uh and i think because of how fashion is now part of the culture more so than ever like yeah i think it would be really cool to see fashion is uh, the new cooking. shows yeah no, it is. Just think, it is. Say it like, and, uh, like yeah everybody used to get into cooking but now they're like, oh, I'll yeah. just make my own and make my own clothes. We can make sweatpants or something. <laughs> you know, uh, you see it, sweatpants it's, it's cool. brands popping up. Yeah, sweatpants brands pop up. <laughs> that's all. But yeah, that's amazing. I'm happy. Uh, fucking, I, that's what I mean. Like, and this is showing like exposure to just a bunch of random, yeah, just a bunch of people. I'm like, oh shit, now I get to see what all these niggas are doing with their time. Like, let me yeah. see that. What does your logo look like? Oh, that's, he sucks or he's amazing. You know, you get to just be like, that's cool. I feel like it's like, it's cool. It seems like a cool show, at least on paper, mm-hmm. but like, I, I just don't like the fact that Offset is like the, one of the the hosts or one of like the the people that make a decision it's like yeah him, all people like you know yeah so he's one great. of the most hype people though like being hype just means that you're willing to chase whatever is brand new and just came out and like you know and like all that shit so that's why people don't like to admit it but he's always admitted it he's like whatever's the newest hottest thing please you know that's cool. Yeah. I mean, that's why he makes money is to buy a bunch of new hot things. Mm. So, I mean, I get it that he's hype and it's not like it's not like he has a style of his own, but that's what hype is. You know, hype is not necessarily having a style of your own. It's just chasing the style. Yeah. You know, I yeah, I, I still can think of like other people that would probably be better. But but whatever. name the hype. Like, what if Kanye West uh, judged the hype? I wouldn't like it, you know, as much. I, it, well, I wouldn't, he wouldn't be as good of a host because he would be like, nah, let's all just make something together, something weird. You know, he would be fucking up the show. <laughs> but you need people. It, it'd be Kanye's actually, show then. Yeah, you, you, you actually just want people who legitimately will just be like, hey, make stuff. I want to look at it. And, you know. Mm-hmm. That's the and if he's willingly the most willing person and outwardly this person who's like, I just buy whatever's new. I don't care. I just buy it just so I can have it. You know, I don't even know anything about clothes. You know, I just I just put on whatever's the newest thing. I I look great all the time. Then that's like that's like what he's owning up to. And he's saying, like, hey, make that new thing for a person like me to go run for and get, you know. And he's yeah. not saying like, hey, I'm the most, fa- I made up a brand that's so fashionable and making this fashion thing. You know, he's not saying that. He's saying, I'm just purely consumer. So I don't see how we could, how you could be, you know, mad at him. Yeah. He's just a consumer, yeah. you know, like he's just like the Uber consumer, like the, the, the most utmost consumer in consumer. You get what I mean? I get it. You're sticking up a twin. I get it. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I actually think everything I said was kind of bad towards him, which I'm sorry for saying that offset. But I just mean like, but he's he's playing up to it. You know, he's not just like uh, he's like letting it be said, like 
there's two ways you can do it. There's like one way, okay, if you're rich, you know, and you want to buy all the shoes, there's two ways you can do it. You can just go buy all the shoes and people be like, yo, you just bought all those shoes because you're rich. And you're like, you, there's two answers to that. One is, yep, sure did. I'm just rich as fuck and I just buy whatever. And that's what Offset does. But the other one is when a person goes, Nah, I always had this swag. I was just always, I always loved these shoes. I always was doing this or something. You're looking at them like, you're a fucking liar. Like, yeah, you know, like, yeah. you're fucking weird. Why? You're just rich, dude. It's okay that you just got rich and now you can just buy every sneaker. So just buy them all. But don't look at it like, I mean, but don't, you know, don't hit me with that fucking, uh, I want to buy every sneaker. You get what I'm saying? Like, and then pretend that, I actually always it. loved, yeah, I was always in the st- stand, like, no, you get what I'm saying? So there's two different ways, and I'm saying believe in yourselves. Yeah. So, so. Like, but you're, you're right, right. He's not like a, he's not like some fake person who's just like wagging fingers trying to tell people what's up or anything. Yep. Yeah, he's he's just a consumer who has the pockets for it, sure. Yeah. And uh, choosing him for a host, I think, makes sense for, for it, just because, like, all right, guys. You know, people are going to know who Offset is, but like, what if you chose someone who's more in a, in a uh, I don't know, a designer or something like that, especially for a show that looks like it's catered to a general audience? They're not going to know who that is. So you're going to have to pick a celebrity or something like that. Couldn't be like either Cardi B. Yeah, Offset, yes, right? exactly. It's not like you could have like, yeah, I get what you're saying. You can't have like some obscure you know, Instagram guy with 30,000 followers who just like looks up obscure, you know, like people be like, yeah. all right, well, you know, if you get offset, at least you got like the guy who's like certifiably known for wearing whatever sneaker came out that day Yeah. on that day, you know, he's that guy. He's become, he's not saying, oh, I, I was this guy forever. He's just saying, oh, got a bunch of money. That's what I want to do. All right. And even if you're not into or don't, fashion you know who offset is. so that's already a pool right there right so yeah it works i think it, i think it works yeah and then offset saying hey i want you guys to know that even though i'm a hype beast as fuck i can i i care about like these people as people like i want to give them money because maybe i like art you know so he's like, like maybe i like he likes fashion or whatever maybe he's not like saying he wants to be in fashion but he wants to make sure that fashion makes a bunch of money you know, so they can yeah. strive and be great, you know, so he's like, I can that's, donate That's this the cool money. part. That's the cool part about it, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. So, I'm looking forward to it. I'll watch it. Cra- it's crazy. Um, Let's go. Let's go. It's time for, it's time for, it's time for, it's time for, it's time for my favorite part of the week. My name's Jamal, and I've been on the street. Guess what I saw down low? It was feet, 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 feet on the street. Welcome. It's time for another episode of Feet on the Street. There we go. Brian, are you ready? <laughs> I am, sir. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. It's talking to Brian. Um, that was a good one. ready. <laughs> um i do a little a little little a little uh what is it called portion of this show called feet on the street where i basically just creep around and take pictures of people's feet while on the street or in local establishments um are you ready for that i'm scared but i'm ready let's start it off the the uh, situation with uh most of the times it's a question like honestly a lot of the times what gets me the people's attention or what gets my attention with people is like what the fuck is that shoe so that's kind of what i'm thinking oh mark jacobs (laughs) oh that's what those are i was like what the fuck is that shoe and i just kind of creeped up on this person and took some pictures of it yeah i was just wondering what these shoes were and now i can read I've been healed. I I'm can not gonna read. lie. That 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 color looks pretty. That 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 green. That slime green looks pretty tight, though. I kind of like that. Yeah, man. 
it's not it's not the worst in the shoe in the world i guess that's true there, there, there's a lot worse than that what do you think i can steal this color uh it's a green shoe shout out oh. to him moving right along that was a young lady what do you think about <laughs> this one Mm. The shopping cart really adds to it. Yeah, poor person. It's funny. Uh, with, with like skinny, yeah. skinny <laughs> ass jeans like that, they just look like plastic bags over. This is a dude or a woman, man. I gotta say that before every fucking. <laughs> this is a young lady. He's a fly. <laughs> Shout out to her. Do you guys like the foam runners like that? I like these. I like the shoes. I don't like the fit. That's why I try not to get her fit in there. But the truth is that, yeah, yeah I was just was exampling that people are already wearing these a lot. And these are de- probably fake, right? Do you, I don't think these released yet. You said they haven't released? I don't think so. There was a gray pair and a white pair. Yeah, I don't think they've released <laughs> either. So these are good and fake. Shout out I'm sure they're easy to make fake ones, anyways, because it's just like a what? It's just like a CAD file, yeah. right? Just and this person printer. definitely doesn't splurge on their clothes. Shout out to brutal. Pants. Brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right yeah. along. What kind of shoes and socks are those? Uh, like Guy Fieri. <laughs> yeah, they, you're right. Uh, oh wow i didn't even peep that that's crazy hey you know what it uh matches with that uh new balance uh hill hit right there yeah he's killing it he's killing the game what what number are these does anybody know brian do you know Oof. you know what i don't know i don't want to lie 1500 or something no i ain't no 1500 that's a lie yeah it's definitely not 1500 (laughs) It is like a, it's definitely like a quadruple digit. I think, is that what that's called? A quadruple digit, I think you said. The quads. All right, I might. The quads. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, fuck it, I don't know. Fuck it. We try. They're, they're unreleased Jadens. That's what they are. <laughs> Moving right along. The UPS. USPS, I meant to say. Wow, someone bought these. We talk mad shit about these. I forgot they existed. Yeah, they look like cum. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Looks like you got sperm droplets. What, wait, what is that on the uh, hanging off the shoelaces right there? What is that supposed to be? No, just uneven. What do you mean, the blue thing? Yeah, the blue thing. I mean, it's like a toe. It's this, you've seen those before. Like a yeah, toe but is, it, but is that like a U, USPS thing? Yeah. Okay. So that's oh, yeah. You, you, didn't, you didn't know about that? What, what happened with them? No, no. What happened with them? Well, there was like a big old lawsuit, like... Uh, between like USPS and like Nike and shit like that, and yeah. oh wait, so like Nike just went ahead and made these and didn't even consult with them. Yeah. Well, uh, first they didn't have the USP any USPS logoing on them, so are these right. those? No, because they have USPS. I think they're on the back. Well, I can't really tell actually. Fuck, I should have checked that. But then yeah, basically they made them first that were just like the package or some shit like that. And then they made mm-hmm. them, and then USPS was like, we're suing you. And then they sued them a bunch of times, like a bunch, and then they made them anyway. You get what I'm saying? I think yeah. they Nike, Nike mean Nike. Yeah, pretty much. No, wait, wait, wait. And then, I'm sorry. I wrapped that up wrong. They sued them, and then they basically settled, like, hey, let's not sue them anymore. You can go ahead and make the shoes that you said you were going to make. You should have just called us, you know, and told us about it before. So now they have a version that says USPS on them, and it's like the mm. official version. And they have like unofficial versions. So I'm like I said, I'm stupid for not checking more and seeing which one of them these are. 
So next. I didn't time. know that, man. Where? Next time. What are these? Oh, those are. Uh, it's a Taiwanese company. I think called Vessel. Uh, they're pretty cool. I like them. They're yeah. you know just kind of like a. They look like a uh, piece together converse shoe. You know, it's like it's a very like a called Japanese what? Vessel. Uh, Vessel. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, that's what's up. Uh, Wait, how do you spell it? Uh, I think it's just called uh, V E S S E L, vessel shoes. Yeah. I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, wait. that's it right there. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yo Yoji uh, collaborated. Why three? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's tight. I, I was thinking. I, I was like, Hold man, on. I remember a celebrity collaborated with them. Uh, is and Hudson I know Yards vessel. Uh, that's in this, New York. This looks like a fucking alien ship. Totally. Oh, wow. All right, my bad. I just got <laughs> carried away. I want to go back to that later. But yeah, those are Y3 I, mixed with vessel. Yeah, X vessel, that's what it is. Yeah, the, their shoes keep selling out all the time on their website. So yeah, I think they tough. make some clothes, but like they're known for their shoes. These are cool. Yeah. That's crazy. I thought there was it was a Converse at first. Uh, it's just Converse inspired. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I, I especially like what they do with their... Uh, with the with the soul how everything is just like pieces and mix matched and just like moved all around you know oh, sure. it's not it's not i'm not like juicing for it like i need it but it's a cool thing right I'm at it way to go lady with your vessels why three vessels um i wonder where she got them because i don't know where you get them around here what they're just resale nova street i mean you, you probably yeah you probably could get them resale but it's just like that that's a random ass shoot to see on the street well this this is right to the opposite then because this is the most common collaboration i see on the street yeah this, i see these a lot so this is like yeah like this is really i just was like let me take a picture of this and show the street feet that are really on the streets because these are the real yeah. feet on the these are nice street. though still see these berry dons i like these these are cool how long ago was this collab? Maybe like a year or two ago. No, like six months actually. Like yeah, less. Than it was uh, like three, four months. Definitely during COVID for sure. Mm. Yeah. This is also a lady. I was wearing them. You say what? Was it also a lady wearing them? No, that was a young man. Young man. All right. Your boy, your boy wore those to the to the death. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. That's what, that's what you're supposed to do. I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, um, hold on. All right. Next fit. We got the young bull. With the new balances and the oversized shirt. Six out of ten. Passable. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah, just where to show that there's a lot of people wearing new balances. What is she wearing? I'm interested though. I don't know. Oh what's shirt. the one on the left? Is that Reebok? Doc darts. Yeah. No, those are uh Yeezys over there. Oh, five oh, okay. I forgot why I wanted to take a picture of her shoes. Hmm. This person just wears fucking a lot of these out in the streets. Are these fake? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Those got to be fake. Because, like, look at the look at the toe area right there. It's all wrinkled. Yeah. yeah. No. No. That's bad right there. Yeah, they or, I respect it. I respect it, though. You try. But when you approach them, Jamal, what, what do they say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to get this person blasted in no type of way. Nah, all right. Uh, 
I forget though, honestly. I think they said something along the lines of, yeah, I never really wear these or something like that. I'm like, shout out to them. As soon as I you went know, to take I a picture, so. yeah, as soon as I <laughs> took a picture, I was like, oh, those aren't real. Yeah. Right. As soon as I went to go like take a picture, I was like, I can see. But, you know, that's how it be out here. <laughs> hey, bold. Moving right along. I uh, love to see some top 10 highs out here mm-hmm. just cooling it. Top 10 he's high. He's with that drink. Yeah. yeah, he's killing it. Yeah, he's going to work. <laughs> the <big crop. laughs> he's killing it. Uh, you know, they always got some new Crocs, man. That's just how Crocs go. But this That's pretty cool, actually. It's, got, it's like that watermelon texture. Which one? Yeah, uh, those Crocs will all go. It's making me thirsty. You're right. Maybe that is water. Yeah. I thought it was like Jaguar or some shit. I don't know what. The fuck. Water, yeah. It's on a zebra? Watermelon zebra. I don't know. Yeah, it's got, it's, he's right though. It's a little watermelon zebra ish. Yeah. I'm not really mad at that take. Um, Shout out to the Crocs. Look at this. Yeah. Like, yeah. This, I mean, these are like, these are abundant too. Like, this is not the only person mm-hmm. I saw with these. Really cool. Yeah, moving right along. Saw some person with the with the bip stars, man. With the bip stars, man. <laughs> uh like I just like to always show that Bape is never dead out here in these streets. <laughs> Can't kill Bape, no matter what bullshit they get into. Ooh, all right. The real <laughs> fashion police says you bought your swag. <laughs> uh, but no these are real you can tell yeah. that's cool and they look worn too which I, uh, they look cool with uh, that wear and tear to it right Facts. yeah they don't look worn to yeah. me for some reason oh is it, is it just the shadow then I guess because I'm looking no, at uh, his left I mean foot, they look a the little dirty box. yeah they look yeah. dirty but they don't look like super worn like I don't know how to explain what, what I'm saying <laughs> like they've been worn in a lot of like maybe gyms or something. Yeah. yeah. I think these are going to look great over time. Like if he's yeah. going to keep constantly wearing them, it's going to have like that patina effect on them. It's just going to look cool as hell. Yeah. yeah. Some boys on the block. Rocking Travis Scott. <laughs> That's it. What's that over there? Raf Simmons? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Just doing like their it. thing. Yeah, I was just like, yeah. Just kind of walk by sometimes and look, click, click on your bent thing. Mm-hmm. Now, this guy, a little bit different. A little bit different, but I love him. <laughs> you see what he's doing, right? You see what he's doing? He's living bold. That's what. He's not waiting at the please wait here sign. Don't you see the <laughs> sign says please wait here? Why are you in front of that sign ever, ever? You should always be behind that sign until you're well in front of that sign. You should never be touching the front of this sign. That is hilarious. Truly a rule breaker right here. So just want to start with that. Obviously, he's doing a couple things right here. He's wearing the Nike socks. Oh, God. Got to get uh-huh. him love for that. Got to show him love for that. But he's also smushing down the back of some shoes that are already comfortable like it's not like there's the heels are like so tough and they need to be like destroyed for any reason you know it's like they're already just like flimsy material won't you just flip that over your heel you fuck just flip it on and yeah that's my that's my story but uh it's not fly, it's not flying it anymore it's flip flipping it folding it flipping it <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. He's smushing them shits all in front of the please wait here sign. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's it, bro. Moving right along. Uh, you know, celebrating Space oh. Jam. Couple feet. Love yeah, a couple feet. Got, Look at got, that. Yeah, you got them dogs. <laughs> you got all the right. goofy dogs. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Them, yeah. them BB shoes right there, BB slides. Hell yeah, the BBs. Yeah. <laughs> and 
her ankles look like she done met Allen Iverson. <laughs> Damn. Why are you coming for her life? <laughs> no, I, I just trying to take a picture of the fucking, of the fucking uh, Bugs Bunny, man. Those are Bugs Bunny uh, Jordans, man. That's all uh, I was going to say, man. But yeah, she, like, she met Bugs Bunny on the court. And then yeah. like, What's up, Doc? <laughs> and the fucking school they're at. Shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Fair use. Okay. Moving right along. I don't know what kind of shoes these are. What is that? Hmm. Symbol called. This is confusing. Yeah, what is that symbol called? Like one of them. What would you call that in a... Oh, uh, a Chevron. That's a Chevron. How do you spell that? Uh, C-H-E-V-E-R-O-N. Yeah. Like Chevron. Yeah, like the gas station. Uh, tech right yeah that's what i was gonna say converse yeah but it doesn't have the star so yeah it's gotta be bootleg as hell yeah well i want to know is uh what is what are those shoes that i see in the reflection for that pick who's that pick a while ago the the fake converse What are we talking about? You talking about these? Yeah, well, then uh, you see you see that reflection right there? Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> that's that right there. That those are some Adidas Niza, actually. Ooh. All right. It'd just be cool. And, oh, yeah. But look, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, more <laughs> importantly, what are these shoes? Like, what is this? Like, we need a, a clue or something. Give me some. I don't even know what to like. How would you even look this up? Like that's what I said. I typed in two chevrons on a shoe. Yeah. I'm sure that's like something you just find at the fashion district, one of those stores over there, right? Yeah, when one of his buddies made that shoe. Like somebody he knows made that shoe for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell, like, look at the shoelaces, they look all like sample y. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I just don't get that chevron placement right there. It's just like it's so off center it's all weird and shit like that there's only two of them there which bugs me right you always want to do odd numbers one or three i agree all that negative space yeah in the back there yeah doesn't make any sense Mm -hmm. yeah we'll get to the bottom of this if we ever see this shoe again i'll fucking sniff that shit out (laughs) moving right along another pair of 550s okay yeah these are the green ones i didn't want to actually ask this person to take pictures of shoes because i feel like at this point it's that type of shoe where everybody's like what is that like people want to talk about it and shit so that's that let them live but yeah move around uh the p rod grew grass i really like the way these are what the yeah what the p rods no no these are just what the what the uh, sbs nah nigga these are what the P rods. I think so. Do the shoelaces come like that? I believe so. I don't know. That's that's a cool way of lace. Look, yeah. my guy. <laughs> you don't see them right there. Wait, go back to the original picture. Oh yeah. Um, uh, no, that's not the same. Look at the switch. You're right. You're right. Yeah. That's, like, that's I, I it. something about these is, is like giving me. So when you seen this kid and you seen him with these shoes, did you think like from his fit like that these shoes was real? I did. This is an expensive shoe. Yeah. Do you think it's like custom then? That's an expensive shoe. Twelve grand. Let's go, let's go. We're getting to the bottom of this. I don't know, man. I don't know if these are real. And this is what they are. 
What? I've never seen him in person, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Is that I asked him if those are P-Rods, and he said yes. Oh, wow. So how could they be real? Well, they do have they do have P-Rod in them, I believe. I think yeah, it's like this is P Rod right here. Yeah, Heineken. Uh, yeah, but no, this part right here. This is a P Rod. Yeah, they have yeah. P Rod. Okay, that's why it even has that red right there. So the question is, yeah, that's the question. <laughs> like, <laughs> could they be real if he doesn't even know if they're real? And look, if you look hard, this looks a little funny. It looks a little wonky. I, I, yeah. know. I didn't want to hate. Yeah. Starting to give me right, right. No, 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 no. You go, go yeah. out. You, you see the, the toe box right there? How it's ivory instead of white? Yeah. 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 Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. Like, like I had a feeling, you know what I mean? Like uh -huh. I didn't know, but I, I kind of knew. Uh, right. Like that, that, that sort of material shouldn't get all weird and wrinkly right there, right? Especially. I mean, if it's if that shoe, you're barely going to wear it, right? It's probably one of those, like, biannual shoes that you wear out in public. That's it. Thanks. Yeah. It could still be. The... Not, not for no 12 Gs, man. People ain't wearing no 12 Gs. Like, come on, man. Yeah, he was just walking down the street, too. Mm. Not just wearing um. Sorry, buddy. We'll let the verdict out. Anyway, moving right along. My boy's doing the smart thing. <laughs> Fucking Adidas socks. Yeah. Oh, God. Where do, you even, where do you even find... Let's do this. Where do you even find Adidas socks, though? Where the just, fuck do you even find them? JC Penny, man. Yeah, the fucking stove. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like that's not even the logo anymore. Like, what the fuck? I keep telling you. I'm not telling you that again, though. <laughs> this guy's Whoa. a genius, and I love him. Wait, what were you going to tell me? What are you talking about? I'm no, I, don't, I don't know anything. But look, check this out. Uh, nice Air Forces. What are these called? I don't know. They look tight. He's got the Dragon Ball socks on. Very respected. GRs, these are some GRs right here. Yeah, just chill, just look what it, whatever they are. Nice shoes. Yeah, nice shoes, nice. buddy. Then I stopped at Nordstrom Rack, and I noticed that they got these China, China Ultra Boost for one forty. I don't know what this is. is. That China, maybe Chinese New Year, maybe. Isn't that racist? Yeah. To think, that's that's exactly what I thought at first, but I was like, is that the only time these things get a shoe for the new year? Maybe that or like the Chinese Halloween joints, like the Air Force, which is the, the Shibuya ones. Maybe. Yeah. What are you talking about? I don't even know. There's a Chinese bleeder. Wait. Let me host up real quick. I can show you. What, wasn't there a, a, a collection of col uh, collabs for Chinese New Year from Nike earlier? Yeah, but my question is, do Chinese people ever get a shoe besides for the New Year? I feel like I feel like they do. Like, like, like Japanese. There, there's not a Chinese history month. Oh, uh, it barely ever happens. Uh, usually, like, brands like Clot, you know, out of Hong Kong will do something like that. Uh, Oh, okay. So Let's they'll see. just give to a brand that happens to be Chinese. Oh, yeah. They'll be like, let's I, I just mean, do more collabs with Chinese people, but we're not going to do like a Chinese week. Is that yeah. that would be kind of racist. It's like really hard to not be racist, I guess, is what, we're, what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> uh, didn't Nike also had the, the Shanghai... What are these uh, called? Nike Fives, right? Shubai. Shibuya. 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 Oh, yeah, I should learn how to read. Yeah, that's a... Uh, <laughs> oh, that's those, are, those are weird. <laughs> uh, 
You don't fuck like, with these? I feel like one day I'm gonna feel really weird for liking any clear shoe. So really? I don't really like any clear shoe. So yeah. Because it's like I feel like if clear shoes were supposed to be so cool, then we would have a lot of them coming out every year. But the fact that only once in a while a clear shoe comes out, it's like it's not really something that should be done. They just sometimes go that far, yeah. you know, to, into weirdness. Like I have a theory about how every white comedian says the N word at some point. And uh, it's like every, it's similar to like brands and like their clear shoe or something. It's like, why are you making a clear shoe? It's like, you didn't have to do that. You just, you just got too powerful and you were like, you know, we can make a shoe out of like plastic and shit. It's like, Hey man, mm. why don't you just, you know, make a good shoe stop making a clear shoe they're like well we can make clear shoes now we've got the technology <laughs> it's like that doesn't mean it has to happen you know <laughs> like we don't like what do you wear clear hats oh, any ever would you ever wear a clear hat <laughs> would, you, would you ever wear a clear jacket like what do you got do you wear clear pants <laughs> no then why are we wearing clear shoes ever that's my question yeah, it was a it was so a trend for a toes? while right like like a couple of years ago, a lot of shoes were making clear, clear shoes, right? Terrible. I would say that was, that was like two years back. Or that there was like Nike was doing it, Adidas was doing it. It's a uh, terrible. Shoe. And of course, like all like luxury designers were doing it too. I, the only thing with the clear shoes is I like with the, the way they age. I like I like the way they age. I like how they yellow. They oh, turn. yellow and foggy, like your foot funk smell. No. First of all, I don't want anyone to see what socks I'm wearing. I don't want people to see my feet. That's invasion of privacy. I don't like that whatsoever. Wait, you don't want people to see your socks? Yeah, like you wear, look, look, bro. You or anybody else, we wear shoes to cover our feet because we don't like how our feet look inherently. Whether you don't like the shape of your foot or you don't like the toes on your foot or you don't like the amount of ashiness that your foot gets or the amount of whatever whatever people that wear shoes and not just walk around barefoot all the time or wear flip-flops people that wear shoes wear them for with a purpose to cover their foot (laughs) like like i don't understand (laughs) yeah i mean like like sandals like anything that's a sandal flip-flop or or anything that's basically an agreement that yes i'm willing to show my feet yeah i love it i love but a shoe but but a shoe is like mm -mm. yeah you go and you can't go into the store and say hey I don't want to be here. Sell me something for somebody who never comes in here, please, and hates this place. <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay, we got this shoe that's completely clear, just like all the other weirdos love. It's like, all right, cool. But it's like, I would never walk into like a store where it's like something that's not for me and be like, you know, like, let me get some of this, you know, like, yeah. Hey, let I mean, me go I- to the not depressed store. Get some of this. <laughs> so whatever this ingredient you guys got, it's like no. I'll go to the depressed store, like I'm supposed to be at. You know, like. I mean, I wear shoes because I think they're more comfortable than sandals. It's not about even my feet. It's about comfort. Right. Like being Get comfortable. Get the fuck out of here! You that's like that's a bold face lie. You've so you're said trying to think a dog, a dog you have said numerous times you don't like to wear sock shoes because you don't like your feet. Facts. So why did you just say that you don't mind your feet when that's not a truth? You wear shoes just the same reason anybody else wears shoes to cover their foot, not to show their foot. It's a two-part answer. It's a two-part answer. I I I like I don't like open toe chinclettas because they're not comfortable, right? I don't like thong sandals because you're gripping the whole time to like. You know what I mean? And then like the noise is annoying, like the flap of the, you know, it's just, it, the whole thing is just annoying to me, right? It's like, I'm doing too much. Like, I'm getting mad muscles in my, in my feet. Like, fuck that. Like working out and shit. Like <laughs> mad but, muscles in your feet. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like you're working out, you're holding on, you're trying to, you know, grip the, I, it, it's just, I don't even want to get into it. I, I think shoes are more comfortable. It's easy. It's a slip on, it's a tie. And my foot is secure, like you know. And yeah, my I don't want to. Show is, my- so why do you say you don't want to wear Ultra Boost? No, yeah, sock shoes. So, so in 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 that regard, like yeah, like sock shoes. No, nah, I I'm not wearing sock shoes because it shows like I got bunions and shit. Like my okay, shit. Like, okay, okay, okay. 
How does yeah. a clear shoe not show your bunion? It How does. Is- I said it's a, it's a two part answer. Like, you know what I mean? It's like that. But it's all fucking clear. Good. It's the same thing as the fuck. All right, go ahead. All right. <laughs> this person's saying a clear shoe won't show the bunion, but a fucking. Even it's wait, clear. Cli- wait, wait, hold on. So the Shibuya Air Force, where it's showing only that toe part right there, that that's going to show my bunion? No. Yeah, I t- yes. <laughs> No, it's not. Everything show the exact covered. shape of your foot. What are you talking about? <laughs> Come on, bro. No, 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 no. Before you have me, but not with that one. Yes, it you. will, bro. I guarantee if I look down at your foot, I'll see your entire foot. Especially if the light shines in the dark or something <laughs> like it. I got it. Hold up. Hold up. You're not about to see my bunging right here because if anything, my shit's going to be on the side. You feel me? Like you're not gonna see nothing right here but my sock. So oh my um, god, this has bunion cover <laughs> right here. You're trying to flame me, but it's the truth, man. Now with orange bunion cover. Like, no, oh this god. is a fucking I'm just saying it's a fucking uh you're I can still see that your foot's not perfect in that shoe, is the point. Like the point is, why are you wearing any shoe where you show any of your foot? Like what what are you showing off your foot? Like what is so good about your foot? Like that we want to see. I think, I think the, you have a shoe on. I think like the, the clear shoe also like it add, could add to your outfit because I'm into like uh Brian, like I'm into like you know different like color socks and stuff like that. Like, you know, I, I like wearing like different textured socks. Like I'll wear a wool sock, you know, like, well, in the East Coast, I was wearing wool socks, but like not here. But, it's not right, going to look no different though, is it? it? I mean, it, it, but it does though, you know, at least in maybe the Invisible Woman's. Maybe. But but the, the sock, the detail that you and everyone else sees that people care about is the one on the leg, not on the foot, right? Like on the foot, there's nothing well, when that, you're wearing right? a clear shoe, that all that's a part of your fucking shoe at that part, yeah. at that point. You know, like that's a part of the shoe, right? But you don't even see the sock. You still see the the shoe. That's it. It's like no, no. I'm saying the shoe is now whatever color your sock is. You know, like basically your sock is a part of the shoe because you wear a color sock or put a print on it or something. You see it in the shoe. Yeah. But do you guys feel me, though? Like, it, you don't think that uh, wearing a sock with the shoe and then showing more of the shoe, especially if you're not wearing shorts, like, I feel like it it, add, it could add to your outfit. I mean, to me. I mean, I don't know. I say prove it. Next oh, podcast or something like that, you get, do you have, do you have any shoes that have a clear toe box or anything? I you don't? I don't. Then you, 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 you can't. Yeah, get, exactly. Where's the truth, exactly. then? Exactly. My you point, exactly. Up, <laughs> this person says, hey, I like this shoe, but not enough to invest in this. <laughs> Any shoe like it. I will never buy a shoe like it, but I do this, like I, this. Like, I have so many I, shoes. I, don't get me wrong. I would buy the Shibuya Halloween Air Force, right? But... I, I feel like I have so many other shoes in my in my game. I, that I use this excuse every week. Of I course. have so many shoes. That I, I use I that excuse as that. well. But the truth <laughs> is, you have not put forth the effort to actually, you know, like go crazy for that. You know what I'm saying? Because that is a thing that you, you know what I'm saying? I, um, I would say if you if get get some uh, clear shoes, take a picture of you pulling it off and then prove us wrong. That's why I say. Okay. So I can't see it. So. All right. All right. All right. I'm back on I'm back on feet on the screen. So fucking get went off on this clear shoe tangent. All because we were worried about what Asian uh shoes. Okay. <laughs> Point is you got some Chinese ones here. <laughs> and then you got some red Octobers. <laughs> I was like, let's go. Red Octobers are even cheaper at 119. That's a deal. Sure. Like, okay, got some Red October Ultra Boost here, Nordstrom Rack. Yeah. They also have fucking Doc Martens at like 50 bucks off, I think it is. Oh, yeah. That's well. actually not bad. That color is pretty good. And it's like, um, you know, that nice leather. Not that like, uh, the one yeah. thing I don't like about, I only have one Doc Martens. It's the uh, Bodega collaboration one. And the thing I never liked about Doc Martens is that they, the typical ones they use that cheap, super hard, smooth leather that I think looks plasticky and not. Yeah. But, but anytime they use good. like premium leather like this, it looks good. Yeah, this is some good leather, actually. It's better than I thought when I was looking at it. 
Now, is this not like like an original Doc Martin? This is like a different style of one, right? No, that's original. That's a regular. Okay, I don't know anything about Docs like that. I don't really know. That's the oldest ones. You see that? Did no. you get them? No. No, I don't want those goddamn shoes. Just about as much as I want these shoes. I don't know what these are, but they're cool. These are hot. Yeah. And moving right along to our very last good decision maker. This Ooh. person with some Tyler flames on there. Ooh, it's a good color. Good colorway. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know he did a Converse. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if he, yeah, I think he did. He's I mean, always well, been Converse, he's, yeah, right? he's, yeah, I'm, that's, yeah, those are the craziest. He's always been with Converse. He has a one star. Well, well not, a, not a Chuck. Just, I, I mean, I'm a Chuck. Yeah, mind. but he, this is not, this is a collab of like golf yeah. wing and you know because that that print is like the golf wing print essentially uh-huh i mean didn't he just made a commercial for uh converse called uh what is it called uh the cool cool shoe club or something like that i think that's what it's called <laughs> you like, look up on shoe. it's a funny ass commercial too yeah it was wearing something else right yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. You, so you, you got uh, whatever that actor's name is, I forgot. You got the guy from Black Fight. There's like a whole list. Oh, I know who you're talking Those about. Are, yeah, I haven't watched that commercial, yeah. but yeah, it's got the guy from um, from Ladies Man with Leon Phillips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My boy. Good commercial. Don't forget, people. Google the vessel. It's weird. Feel something. Fit of the week. You rocking with this? That's my fit of the week, yeah. Okay. Is it just because of the socks? Yes. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. Oh. And, uh, that's a good color, too. Yeah. Worst fit of the this week. This is my pick. No, no. This is my pick right here. I like roll breakers. He is. He is doing I some kind of glass. Yeah. I know. I know his mom probably saw this. This photo right here, it's probably piss, calling him up and everything like that. Like, why you leave life like this right now? He's like, I'm just doing my thing, mom. And I respect <laughs> that. Thing, mom. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Well, Brian, you got one? Oh, this one. Uh, can we give it like a run through real quick? I just, I don't really remember. Damn, I'm so demanding. Poor girl. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh you know what i'm gonna go with these those new balances the a50s by the way these yeah, like yeah yeah those are dope okay like you just wish they were clear right that's the only thing not for these ones not for these ones sorry right. that was my well it's that time again sorry for uh yelling at everybody um thank you for being here thank you for uh tuning in to the end of this episode because now there's no more subjects i guess you could just click off right now if you want to but don't do that because we're going to tell you some stuff um i'm going to make a twitch next week and i said that last week but this week i really mean it uh brian uh yes um make sure you guys like follow the page the ig page um follow the the tiktok follow the clip page follow the youtube all new best shoe pod um yeah thank you guys for watching thank you for our guest brian yo hey yeah i appreciate it thanks this was a lot of fun uh this is the new best shoe pod Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, my name is Jamal. And now you guys say your names. I'm Brian. Oh, Brian. <laughs> All no, right. You go, Brian. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the same time. Uh. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm Brian, the guest. I'm, I'm Brian. Brian. I'm, on, I'm the other Brian. Hey. And I like shoes the most.